Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Cricut and Budgeting. Now, if you've been watching my videos, you know that we started out by creating the dollar box, where we save our dollar bills with the letters. Then from there, we went on to create mini saving challenges in both horizontal and vertical. Then from there, we went on to show how to use the Cricut pens to create mini saving challenges. Well, and these are all A6 size, which are three by six. What if you don't like using the mini saving challenges? What if you like using big ones? This is just a simple $5 cross a five every time and you have a total of 300. And yes, there is writing on the back because I was using from my granddaughter's baby shower. I used the backs to kind of was playing around and create a design space. So a couple of these have printing on the back. Now this one, if you just color in the paw print, you save $255. Well, if you want to save more, you can color in each of the little pads and make it a denomination of your choice. So this would be a 255 plus challenge. And then this one is just $150 you save when all these are you just cross off the numbers. This is my April showers and Grover's kind of being buried in my giant flowers. It's $180 savings. And then this one is a mystery. As for each letter is $2. Each carrot, I put $5. And the bunny rabbit is $20. So I have no clue. When I do this one, I'll let you all know. So we're going to create big challenges today. So we have our Cricut Design Space. We're going to go on to the left, down to Shapes, and click on Shapes. Now usually I grab the rounded rectangle, but today I'm just going to grab the square. This is in Cricut Design Space. It only prints out a certain area. And then it prints this black line so it can sense where to cut, but we're not doing any cutting. Take our square, move it over here to the center, kind of. Under operations, I am going to turn this, click on the solid square, I'm going to turn it white. Then for size, unlock the lock. And for width, it's 6.75, hit enter. Now I know that the area that is needed is six and three course by height, 9.25, which is nine and a quarter. That's the area that it's given us to create our design in. Because if it's larger, it'll tell us it won't print. Lock it up. Now on the bottom left here, I have this set at 75% so I can see my whole square. Now we're going to go back to images. We've got to figure out what are we going to take and create to save for. Well, I am choosing, yep, it's got it up there already because I was playing a cricket. And why is that? We're going to save up for a cricket machine. So we're going to click him and I'll have these numbers down below in the description. I'm going to back out of there, type the word Cricut in, and click on the magnifying glass. And it's got 157 results. But how did I get to this spot? I'll show you in a second, as soon as we get our little Cricut machine. Oh, this is the first guy pops up, but he was a little plain. So I'm going to scroll down, because we're saving for a Cricut machine, I'm clicking this, and the number for this will also be in the description. And if you scroll down a little further, you will see 
our Cricut guy that we chose. Needs to catch up to me. Which, if you see this square, this is where he'll pop up at. See, there he is. And both of them that I clicked will be down at the bottom here. So how did I get to this? Usually when you first click on images, this is the screen you see. I went to this first column here where it says highlighted categories. They have a free section. So I clicked on free. Of course, there was way more than this. There was like 3,000 images. And then I narrowed it down to the Cricut machine. So when we're here on the bottom right, we are going to click Add to Canvas. And then both of our images will be brought up to our canvas. And here is our machine and our little Cricut guy. Not sure we're going to put him yet. Now, we need to know, well, how much does a Cricut machine cost? Well, let's go into Cricut Design or the Cricut Shop and find out. For Cricut Maker 3, is $429.99. And they do have a couple of bundles. So if you want other stuff with it. But just the machine alone is $429.99 plus tax. Shipping is free. Then we have the Cricut Explore 3, which is one under the Maker 3. That's $319.99. And it does have a couple bundles. These two are the bundles for that. Then underneath the Cricut Explore 3 is the Cricut Maker, which is the one that I use a lot. And mine is this champagne one. They're $249.99. And they do have a couple bundles. They were up here. I don't know why they put them up here. They're right here and right here. If you would like other stuff with them. Then underneath the Cricut Maker machine is... Of course, get champagne blue and rose for the Cricut Maker. The Cricut Explore Air 2. We got mint, blue, and twilight. 200 bucks for the machine there. So this is the one that I'm going to choose to take and figure out our tracker. So we'll go back to Cricut Design Space. So we know it's 199 99 plus you got tax on there. So I'm just going to round it to an even 225 to be on the safe side. Well, 225 divided by well, let's say $5. That's 45 images. So we need 45 of these guys on here. Well, we already know that this getting 45 on won't work. So I'm going to take Come up to the size. We're going to just pass over the width. Go to height. Click in one and hit enter. That brings it down to one inch. And it's probably still too big. Because we need to get ten of these across. And then a another line with just five. So we'll come up to layers. Our double square with the plus sign. Click it nine times to get a total of ten. So that's two. There's three, four, five, six, nine. Now that should bring us to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're just going to kind of bring these up a little bit. We're going to move this out of the way. And him. Because this is going to go way longer. And we're going to let Cricut Design Space do all our lining up for us. I just like to kind of get them up in the general vicinity 
Then we're going to highlight this all. And on the top here, it says align. Click the little black arrow. I'm going to align them to the top. That's going to bring them all even up on the top. Click, al click align again. Distribute horizontally. That's going to evenly space them. Come to the layers on the right. Click on the first double set of squares. That's going to group this whole thing together so we can move them without getting them on a line. Let's grab our rectangle here. Now we see it's too big. So we just highlight them and shrink it down until it will fit on our paper. Whoop, still too big. Or we can go up to the size and click on the bottom arrow. Oh, that's too small. 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is a little too big. Um, let's go 0 0.45. Well, that looks pretty good. Now we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we know we need 45 of these, so we're going to highlight those, come to our layers, click on the center three more times. So we know this first set is 10, 20, 30. 40, then we need 5. So all we're going to do is we're going to cheat. Just come over here and just click on one of them. Now it's going to highlight one. And we're going to come up to the Layers panel and click on it five times to give us five singles. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Let's all be down here. And there they are. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to do the same thing like we did for these ten. Just going to line them up. Highlight them. Come up to a line. Align top, click align it all again, distribute horizontally. Now they're all evenly spaced. And then layers, first one, group. Now we're going to come up to these, highlight all of these, come up to align, line to the left. They're all lined up evenly and align, distribute vertically. Get some evenly space. Come over to our layers again. The first double squares click so that groups them all so you can move this whole thing without them coming out. So I got. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. That's 200, 25, 210, 215, 220, 225. So we know that each of these little images are $5. And we'll come over here and just click on one again. So I guess we need to have that on here somewhere so we know how much we're saving. Click on the Layers panel, the second double squares with the plus for Duplicate. And there's our little guy. So know that each of these is $5. You know, should have had some color to these. And that's just before we started. Let's turn this one into... I guess we can't change the color on that. 
Well, maybe it is changed. You just can't see it. I changed it to blue. So we got all of our 35 little guys on there. We know we got to color each one, say $5, and we can buy ourselves a Cricut Explore Air 2. Now we need to come back to the left, click on text, back the space out. Um, we want the equal sign, the dollar sign, and five, because we know that each of these is going to be five dollars. So we can save our $225. Uh, let's take and choose a green from the color of our little Cricut guy. Now we know this is too big. So we're just going to shrink this down so it looks more in proportion to our little Cricut machine there. And now we know that, grab another text box. We are going to save, click back out, type in save, dollar sign, $225. We know that's how much we're gonna save so we can buy our own Cricut machine. Let's grab him, bring him over. Let's see, what color do we want here? This, let's do this pink. So I'm kind of, these top colors up here are colors other than this blue, but these top ones here, this white one is our square. Then these are the colors that are in our little Cricut guy. So that's why I'm kind of choosing some of those colors. We kind of match. And you can do like a funny little saying, like say 225 Cricut Machine or Cricut Machine Savings 225. I think we're just going to leave all these little machines right where they are. This guy, we're going to put him right here where it's got that little indent. It seems kind of bare though. Let's come up to the size, unclick. We don't want the width to change. Yeah, I put it down to 6.5 for the width. That gives us a little more wiggle room. But we can get the height to be bigger. Let's see what's three and hit enter. Didn't do much of a thing, but. Let's try four and hit enter. There, now that looks better. Let's get these ones bigger too. Unclick. Let's go one and hit enter. Oh, well, they're kind of like different because there's only five of these versus the 10. But it fills it in a lot better this way so i'm going to leave it just like this we have how much we're saving we're saving for a cricket machine our little machines are five dollars each and we got a little cricket guy jumping for joy because we are saving for a cricket machine just highlight the whole thing now down on the bottom here we want to flatten and there's our savings challenge and I did turn this one to blue. This is the $5 save. And you can add whatever else you would like in here. You know, maybe you want them to be $10 and save for one of the higher ones or 15. Just kind of divide it out, you know, add some tax in there. And then across the top, well, we know we're using the maker machine. This will not work on the joy. We're going to click make it and I have my paper in my machine already my paper is in the printer and it's going to sort out the colors on the mats I don't know why it's got to sort out colors onto mat because we're only going to take it's a print and cut and for some reason, we are awfully slow this morning. 
And there it is. Now see, this time it has these black little things on. Where this has got the whole black around it. So let's hit continue. And it's going to connect up to the machine. Now sometimes... Like my sister, she doesn't need her machine connected to her computer. It'll print. But for some reason, my machine has to be connected to the computer before it'll print. I don't know why. So my machine is off to the left here. Turn, plugged in and turned on just so it'll connect it to it. So my print will work. And now it's preparing to print. Now I have been kind of keeping an eye on my subscriber count. Last time I checked, I think I was like at 197. So I'm deciding that at 250, I'm going to do my first giveaway. And I know one of the rules... To be entered into my giveaway is you need to be publicly subscribed to my channel. Okay, for here, see there's the little marks that it's going to print out. We want bleed off. That's what it is. If you put leave bleed on, your little images and your things are going to be just kind of a blob. We don't want that. Then click print. It's going to send it to my printer. Now back to my subscribers. So we need to be publicly subscribed. And right now there is only about four to nine of you publicly subscribed. So publicly sub subscribed, 18 or older, and yes, in the USA. So I'm going to keep an eye on them closer because it seemed like I shot from 60 to 90 like just in a couple of days. So once I hit 250, it's my first giveaway. And I decided and hope that everybody is fine with it. I'm going to create challenges with my Cricut machine and Cricut Design Space. And that's what I'm going to hand out for the... Nope, I got to check my ink levels on my machine. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. So, I'm going to create challenges. There will be some big ones. And there will be A6 size also. Some drawing ones. Some of this size. No letter box though. These ones, and then some big ones is what I'm going to do. Now, I don't need to set nothing here because I'm not going to cut it. There's no need to cut it, but I am going to go run to the printer real quick and grab our challenge. And there it is. It's got the black lines. It's got our save 225. It's got all of our little machines. These ones are kind of out of proportion. Probably should have did that differently. Got our little guy jumping for joy. And each machine is $5. And there you have it. So that is completing of today's episode. And remember, my giveaway at 250 publicly subscribed 18 or older and usa only see you on friday